Hi everyone, this video is going to provide you two example uh, questions on uh, indices, search and logarithms. I have a question, uh, example 1. Given that P equals to 7 plus 5 sub 2, Q equals to 97 plus 5 sub 2, find the value of the Y such that 1 over P plus 1 minus 1 over Q plus 1 equals to this. So here we are going to solve for the value of y and this is the equation given. So we can see that the p and q here, they are conjugate of each other. In order to solve this equation, I'm going to substitute the p as a 7 plus 5 uh, sub 2 into here and make this 7 plus 5 sub 2 into here. So this equation will become 1 over 7 plus 5 sub 2 plus 1, 1 is from here, minus 1 over q, q substituted as a negative 7 plus 5 sub 2, plus 1. And this is equals to the y, 1 minus sub 15. After that, I'm going to simplify the uh, denominator. I got my 8 plus 5 sub 2, minus 1 over um, negative 6 plus 5 sub 2 equals to 5, y 1 minus sub 15. Next step, I'm going to equate denominator of the left hand side. So to equate denominator, denominator over here uh, at the first term, I'm going to multiply by negative 6 plus 5 sub 2. On top, I need to multiply by the same term. Okay, second term, I multiply my denominator by uh, 8 plus 5 sub 2. Yeah, numerator need to multiply by the same thing. So after that, I will have um, 8 plus 5 sub 2 multiplied by negative 6 plus 5 sub 2. Then on top, I got a negative 6 plus 5 sub 2. Minus 8, negative multiplied by negative, I can multiply 5 sub 2. But inside, still I have a y multiplied by 1 minus sub 15. Then simplify the numerator, I got negative 14. 5 sub 2 minus 5 sub 2, 0. And then this I got uh, negative 48. Plus uh, 40. Set 2 minus 30 set 2 then positive 5 multiplied by 2 that will be 50 simplify further you got a negative 14 over 2 plus 10 set 2 and here, the 1 minus 5 sub uh, 50 can be simplified into the 5 sub 2. Yeah, sub so 50, which is uh, equivalent to 25 multiplied by 2. So you can split them into 2 thirds, that is sub 25 multiplied by sub 2. Sub of 25, you get 5. In order to get the y, I will uh, divide both sides by 1 minus 5 sub 2 which I will divide both sides by um, 1 minus 5 set 2, then I have this. Then we need to expand this, multiply it, simplify, we will get the answer. Uh, on top, I got negative 14. Here I have a 2 plus the 10 set 2. Multiply by 1 minus 5 sub 2. Try to expand and simplify. That is your y. Negative 14 in, uh, on at the numerator. You got 2. 2 minus 10 sub 2. Plus 10 sub 2. Minus 50. 50 multiplied by 2. That will be 100. Okay. Then multiply by 5. 50, 50 multiplied by sub 2. Multiply by sub 2. That is 2. That is negative 100. So these two terms in the middle cancel off each other. 
we get negative 14 and divided by negative 4, 98. Simplify, you got 1 over 7. Another example, I need to simplify the uh, this uh, index expression, which um you can you can see that I got um three terms over here. Uh, the, um, the first term at the numerator is uh, three power of two n plus three. Then here I also have a three power of two n. If I expand this, I can see that I have my three power of two n. And below here also I have a three power two n. So first, I'm going to um, I'm trying to simplify all these uh, can change to the convert into the base of three. So for the first term, I'm going to split into the three power of two n multiplied by three power of three minus eighteen three power of two n minus two. Okay, and then divided by uh, five multiplied by three power of two n. Here I got 27 of uh, 3 power of 2n minus 18. The 3 power of 2n minus 2 can be simplified, uh, can be split into 3 power of 2n multiplied by um, 3 power of negative 2. Divided by 5 multiplied by 3 power of 2. Okay. Then first term, just copy down first. And then this uh, is uh, 1 over 9. 1 over 9 multiplied by 18, you got 2. 3 power of 2n. Divided by 5, 3 power of 2n. After that, you can see that the numerator can be simplified, which you can see this as a 27 apple minus 2 apple, where this apple representing the 3 power of 2n. So I got my 25. 3 power of 2n, that is 25 apple, yeah? Over 5, 3 power of 2n. From here, I can see that these two can be cancelled off. And 25 divided by 5, I got into 5. Here I have another example on log. Without using calculator, evaluate this. So, uh, copy down the question. I need to evaluate this uh, expression in logs. Uh, without using calculator, meaning that uh, this is the probably we can change to the base. Uh, I mean, uh, the base is the uh, this is a base of 10, or having the base of 10, and you can see that this uh, 8 third of 8 can be simplified into 2, pow two power of uh, 3, and don't forget because of the square root, here is having the power of 1 over 2. Plus a log, that is 10. 27 always can change to the 3 power of 3. And uh, question already have the power of 1 over 2. Minus log 5. And this is divided by 3 over 2. And the log 6, uh, I try to, the com try to convert into this uh, uh, simpler unit. That is, uh, I split into the 3 multiplied by 2 minus log 5 to the base of 10. After that, trying to simplify the numerator, I bring down the, uh, because the 3 multiplied by 1 over 2, there is a power 3 over 2, I bring it to the front, I got 3 over 2, log 2 to the base of 10, uh, 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 plus 3 over 2, this is also having the, the power of 3 over 2, bring it down, you got a, uh, log 3 to the base of 10 minus log 5. After that, uh, the numer uh, denominator, the log 3 multiplied by 2, I split into the log 3 plus log 2 because of the 3 over 2 is going to multiply by both of the terms. So here there are one more 3 over 2 multiplied by log 2 minus the log 5 to the base of 10. So what can you see is on top and below, I mean numerator and denominator having the same term, we can compare. 3 over 2 log 2 to the base of 10, This uh, we having this same uh, similar uh, same term. Uh, 
at the denominator. 3 over 2 log 3, we have it also at the denominator. And minus uh, log 5 to the base of 10 over the log 5. I mean, uh, the denominator also having this term. Alright, so we can basically, we can see that on top, having the exactly the same term as the uh, denominator. So we can say that when we divide, it is equal to 1. Next, I have a question. Equation involve the indices. And I'm going to solve this equation. By looking at this equation, I got 4 power of x minus 3, 2 power of x minus 4 equals to 0. Uh, the most important thing is we must be able to see that the 4 power of x can be converted into the 2 power of 2x minus 3 multiplied by 2 power of x minus 4 equals to 2. And uh, 2 power of 2x is actually can be written as 2 power of x squared minus 3 multiplied by 2 power of x minus 4 equals to 0. If you are left, if you are uh, replacing the a as a 2 power of x, you can see that this equation is actually in the form of quadratic which you have a squared minus 3a minus 4 equals to 0. When you have a in the form of quadratic, you can use the quantity way to solve for the a first by factorizing it. have a 4, 1, negative positive. Alright, factorize it, you get a equals to 4, a equals to negative 1. Substitute back the a as a 2 power of x. You got two sets of uh, solution, possible solution. With the first set giving you the 2 power of x equals to 4, okay, you can solve this equation by changing the 4 into 2 power of 2. Then you compare the power which is equating the power where the x equals to 2. Second set of the uh, solution equation, you have no solution. Why we say that? Because this is an uh, exponential function, and yeah, 2 power of x. And the exponential function is always greater than 0. So when you have a, it, it is um, the equation equals to negative 1, which you can say that this has no solution and you just can't ignore it. Alright? And you only have a one solution that is x equals to 2. Alright, thank you for watching.